Welcome to 60 Second Saturday, the video series where I try and explain common cycling terminology in 60 seconds or less. So if you're a beginner cyclist, or perhaps you're a more experienced one and just afraid to ask, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today we look at gravel bikes. So let's put 60 seconds on the clock and let's go. Gravel bikes have drop handlebars like road bikes, but designed to go off-road with almost every major manufacturer now having a range. You could say they're a combination of a more traditional off-road cyclocross bike and a touring bike. Like I said, they have drop handlebars, can have a more relaxed geometry than traditional road bikes and are thus more comfortable, and often have easier gearing. Another distinct feature of gravel bikes is tyre clearance. Many of the new gravel bikes have space within the frame to allow for a much bigger tyre than used on normal road bikes. A traditional road bike might have space for a 25 or a 28mm tyre, whereas gravel bikes can sometimes fit tyres of over 45mm wide. These make them much more like mountain bike tyres than road bike ones. Gravel bikes will almost exclusively have disc brakes instead of ring brakes. They can also be seen as a do-it-all bike as they go relatively fast on the road but can handle off-road riding as well. You might have two sets of tyres, one 25 or 28mm tyre for road and bigger ones for off-road riding. I hope that you found that helpful and if you'd like anything else explaining, let me know in the comments below. So I'll thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.